everybody and welcome back to another video i'm in a great mood because there are so many reasons and so many things that i would like to celebrate with you guys oh my memory card is full <sighs> what a great start of the video this video is not gonna be very long i think but then i mean considering i'm a woman and i like to talk i think there's no need to state that but there is gonna be very much to the point even though it's a vlog i am taking you today for the first time ever it's not ever, but for the first time. I'm taking you... Okay, it's for the first time this year that I'm taking you shopping with me in Paris. What's happening is Paris is open and I actually wanted to have another video before this one. I vlogged, but then I decided to mix up my schedule a little bit and today wanted to bring you a come shopping with me in Paris because I'm actually quite excited. I think the shops have been closed since, only since March, it's not even that long, but for some reason, since the restaurants have been closed since October, in Paris, I didn't really do that much. And I, yeah, I really was so comfortable staying at home. I was so comfortable doing my own thing that I didn't really do this type of content for a while. So today I'm gonna get dressed. I have an excuse, of course, like, I mean, I always have an excuse to shop, even though, let me tell you honestly, we do not need an excuse to shop. If you want to shop, if you feel like it, if whatever you want to do, you do whatever you want to do. End of story. So what is going on? Um, we are heading to Saint Honoré, where I will bring you shopping with me. I have to go and buy a birthday present for a friend. So I have some ideas in mind, but I'm not 100% sure what to go for. So we're just gonna, you know, we're just gonna see, have a look at a few shops. I'm definitely gonna take you with me to Chanel, to Dior. We're gonna go to a few places, you know? And I thought that would be an amazing thing to film. I'm actually very, very casual. Here's my outfit for at home. Um, it's a little bit annoying that I show it to you now because I, like I said, I did another vlog, which is going to go live probably after this one, where I unboxed the pieces from Rotate. This is from their um, Rotate Sunday collection, and it's like a workout gear. You will see it as I unbox it. It also comes in a few different colors that they, the girls have sent me. Really love it. I think it's quite cute and quite homey. Love it. So I'm not gonna wear that because I am so done with leisure wear. I want to wear beautiful dresses. I want to wear like basically a gown when I go out shopping, which obviously I'm not gonna do, but I'm gonna go for like jeans and something cute because I cannot wait to dress up. Done my makeup this morning, kind of like simple and easy, but gonna get dressed and we head out. I'm wearing the white Margiela jeans. I will link them below, I love them. It's the same ones as I have in denim. Then uh, these Nike sneakers, these are just the Classic uh, Syracuse orange and white, love them. Very comfy as well. Uh, crop top that I've had since forever, it's a boss one. And uh, my destructed, destructed, deconstructed Margiela blazer, my hair, which looks terrible, but it's terrible because yesterday I did a lot of reels and I put a lot of product, but I'm gonna change that today. I mean, it's not terrible, it's just very messy and it's a look. Let's just say it's a look, it's a vibe, okay? We, we, you know, like we're working it. Sunglasses by Bottega, love these, I'll show you a close up. And my Kelly 25 in Capucine. These sunglasses are such a vibe and I love them. I mean, I always like to wear them a little bit low, but yeah, usually you guys ask me if Bottega sunglasses are heavy. I mean, these aren't, but then I'm not the best person to ask because it doesn't bother me too much. So this is the look, white and orange, and we are heading out, I'm so excited. Okay, I don't actually know where to start. We're on this end. I love this Celine Fragrance Boutique. Even though I don't really use Celine Fragrances, but I love it. <laughs> then ahead here we have Loewe, which I mean, especially now it's summertime, I think it's insane. So amazing, so many cool pieces. Ah, love it. I think we should start with the gift, so let's head straight to Chanel. I think the Metier Darts collection is landing very, very soon in June, so let's see what's in here. I'm 
to say this was a little bit underwhelming. Not really much to show you or anything like that. Like not much to try on either. So my favorite Chanel store was kind of underwhelming. Uh, there wasn't really much to even show. And I believe it's because actually during the time that the shops were closed, Chanel was doing appointments and kind of selling the stock. So it's not like, oh, now you will see such amazing pieces because they were closed for two months. I still decided to check out the Cambon store and see if it's a little bit better, you know? Okay, currently in the shoe department, I managed to find the gift and something else for me because otherwise, you know, your girl likes to treat herself as well. Okay guys, currently at Place Vendôme I finished with Chanel and basically now they give you like this black bag because they're kind of trying to obviously conceal the branding so that you're safer if you go for a walk and stuff like that, which I like. I wanted to go to um, Van Cleef, there's something I want to get and my boyfriend said no, wait for me, wait for me, I'm on my way to the airport, he's coming to Paris, so he was like wait for me, we go together, so I was like okay, we do that tomorrow, because anyway tomorrow we're going to lunch with friends we're going to Lulu which makes me so happy I haven't been there in so long so okay detour from Place Vendôme to back to Saint Honoré I popped to Vuitton this is my favorite Vuitton boutique to shop in it's the one it's the one on basically Place Vendôme I love it and the service here is always the best really 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 there are a few things that I want that are not available online so I'm heading upstairs to see if I can find them. Fingers crossed. I know I just said I'm getting off the logo vibe, but Vuitton doesn't count, okay? Because Vuitton logo is just, I think it's super beautiful actually. Something I definitely have my eye on is this little puffer. <gasps> Obsessed, it's so stunning, so stunning. And I'm definitely gonna ask to try it on because it looks amazing. I mean, do I even need to ask? Can I just go and help myself? Look at this, the details. 42 it's a little bit large for me and it's like 38 I love this it's not my size this is 40 they're bringing me 36 but okay maybe you prefer to see it without the hoodie on it's so cute I love it what do you guys think amazing such a piece huh the only thing is because the sleeves are so big right like it has to be the right size this is very 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 big so imagine with a hoodie with a knit this is a great piece because you can wear it all year round okay i think now it's time to go home bye bye Vuitton. here is everything i'll show you everything as we get home i still want my charcoal latte and maybe some snacks so we're gonna head to wild and moon and then i will just uber home ah! Uber home, I don't know, I wanted to also pop by Hermes. Now, Hermes can wait, it can wait until tomorrow because Hermes is always best with my boyfriend. Bonjour. I would like a chocolate latte, please. A chocolate? A chocolate, yes. Guys, you know what's a real luxury? Real luxury is to have your coffee, to sit down and to have your coffee, actually sitting down in a place where you like to have your coffee, not having to like quickly grab it, run, you know, nowhere to sit down, all the benches in the park full, everything busy, no. I can sit, 
read the news, read the business of fashion, have a look what's going on in the world and just sip my coffee. This is so nice. I love it. <sighs> There's no place like home. No place like home. Every time I'm back home, I'm so happy. So, still in my shoes even. So I received a gift from this brand called Puff in Paris. And this is what the gift looks like. It's basically a filler for your bag. This lovely lady, she sent me three. I believe this is for my Birkin 25. This is for 30 and this is for 35. So I'm very, very excited, like especially for 35 because my 35 really needs a bit of shape um, as specifically because of the Clemence leather. It's just, you know, amazing. And what's so great about them is that you can open this, take it out and then wash the, wash the actual insert if it gets dirty. So that's quite nice. And she also sent me some really lovely other pieces as well with this. I mean, I don't know, like I haven't had these comments for a while now. Maybe a couple of months ago, I believe like three months ago I started, well, no, I, I didn't start getting, but I got like a few comments from some of my viewers asking me how come my accent changes so much. And to be honest, I really don't know. And I've answered to this question before. I answered about my accent. I said, listen, if I'm with my Italian friends, my accent is completely Italian. When I speak, like my best friend, she's Finnish, Sandra, when I speak to her, my accent completely changes to the way she speaks. I mimic so much what I hear. I have a lot of, um, like a lot of Nigerian friends. When I speak to them, you cannot even imagine my accent is completely different. I don't pronounce H. It's really, or I put it where it doesn't belong. Same with Italians, like it's so crazy. So I was like, mm, I don't understand why is it that I do that? I asked you guys, you do the same thing. Some of you said yes, some of you said no. And then I started doing some research about it because I was really curious. It's not something I can control and I do the same thing in Serbian. So if in Serbian I speak to a person from Croatia, I completely start speaking with a Croatian accent. If I speak to a person, in fact, like obviously I spent a lot of time in Bosnia growing up, I immediately start speaking like with a Bosnian, full, full Bosnian accent. Like you cannot even understand, like imagine how different I start speaking. I really couldn't understand why. So on top of all of that, I decided to contact um, accent coach and kind of ask him what is going on here, you know? I'm someone who really likes to work on themselves. If there's anything that I can, you know, improve, I love learning languages. I love to learn in general about so many different things. I invest in my knowledge. I never stop learning. That is something that it's not necessarily that I'm proud of. I don't think, you know, it's just like a characteristic of a person and of me personally, I love learning and I love improving for me investment in myself is like the best investment I could make. Of course, I love shopping, as we all know, but to actually invest in myself and in my own improvement is like the best thing I can do. I got in touch with the accent coach and uh, we spoke about it and he told me, wow, you know, the fact like a super, super knowledgeable person who understands a lot. And he told me that actually it was such an insightful um, session where he told me that actually it shows that you have empathy if you are adapting to the person that you're speaking to it's apparently that's what scientifically has been proven that it shows that you're an empathic person and um, also that it's quite you know it, it happens that people who are more empathic and more prone to adapting to other people are actually adapting also th their accent subconsciously he also said that that's great he told me he's gonna help me improve the way I uh, pronounce things so I was very excited about that because I actually when I was very young I went to the speech therapist I've spoken about this before I went to the speech therapist for pronunciation of certain letters because I just I just couldn't and uh, for me it, it that was like such a painful process but now it's actually a challenge for me to improve the way I speak, improve my tonality, it's something that I actually enjoy and also it's a process so I'm very curious how it's gonna go. It's a whole process and it's really enjoyable so 
I'll update you on that, but I just wanted to update you as many of you wonder. And also my sister said that when she watched my Ibiza vlog, because I was with Italians, that my accent was completely like Italian, you know? She's like, wow, I listened to you and it was another person. So maybe I just need to be a little bit more mindful of the way I speak and I'm really not, but I could be. And honestly, truth be told, if I am a little bit more mindful of the way I speak, I do speak better, but the problem is, I don't think about these things like I literally I swear to you guys I put on the camera and I press the record button and all I do is like speak to you as if I'm speaking to a mirror I don't think about it I don't wrap things around I, I speak from my heart and from my mind and I don't tend to like plan what I'm gonna say I don't you know think about how I'm gonna say things before so I'm not going to change that. I am not going to ever be planning because the moment that I have to think too much about how I'm speaking to you guys is the moment that this doesn't become so enjoyable anymore for me. And I, this is my favorite thing to do, to speak to you guys, to record videos. I enjoy it. I love it. Today I had a conversation to my boyfriend about that. And I said, you know what? I'm so happy because I do what I love. And this job has never felt like a chore to me. It has never felt like like it's an issue, like I don't want to do it, that it bothers me. It, I always felt like I'm doing exactly what I love doing. I don't know why I rambled for so long. Didn't I say at the beginning of this video that it's not gonna be too long? Anyway, let's unbox and show you what I got so that, you know, <laughs> so that I'm sure you guys are curious. At Chanel, I told you, they've given me this carrier, which I love because I think most of the luxury stores do that. They give you this sort of like um, either a white paper bag to put then the, uh, the carrier in, just so it doesn't look flashy on the streets. But inside, this is what's inside. So when you shop in um, Rue Cambon in Paris, you get the white bag because that's kind of, oops, that's kind of the original, the original store. In here is, a present for my friend. It's a birthday. It's a birthday present, which I'm not gonna show you now because um, obviously she needs to unpack it. It's not for me. But so I went in for someone else, and it's not like I need an excuse to shop, right? Because I mean, who would I need to justify my actions to? But I'm just saying I went in for her. But then I also ended up getting something for myself, and I'm gonna unbox this for you now. So. I wasn't actually going to uh, get this, but then I tried it on and I loved it. And then I remembered all the times that I used to wear these. You're gonna probably know now what it is if you followed me from the beginning. Lately I'm having some deja vus, like it's so weird, but it's really weird. But the, those were the times, probably like 10 years ago. No, definitely 10 years ago. I used to go crazy about these and now they have a, something inside like a little pillow because I had so much foot cream on my feet this morning because I this is so much information basically I over moisturized my feet this morning and then when I put it in she said like uh, I, it was, my foot was sliding and she said I'll put this inside for you so I got these really beautiful pink Chanel ballerina flats and honestly I I mean first of all they perfectly match my Chanel bucket hat is, is that not a reason enough? Uh, duh. Second of all, I mean, these look so, so great. Now that I'm a little bit tan from Ibiza, these look so great on my skin color. But also, like, just with a whole white look, with a bucket hat, you know, I think that's gonna be super, super cute. More importantly, I had these in a black color. First, I had them... No, so I had two different pairs. Black was completely black and kilted with the same kind of thing at the top, like the logo. And then I also had the white and black where the tip was black and the shoe was white. I remember those shoes. When I think of those shoes, I get the certain kind of butterflies in my stomach of the time, how I felt. It's like, it's like listening to a song that reminds you of a particular time in your life and then you just, you know, it brings you completely back to that time. That's how I feel um, when I see these shoes, when I remember how I used to style the other ones. I will try maybe insert some pictures, but honestly, like, thank God my style has changed so much because it was very, very, I don't want to say questionable. It was very, it was okay for that time, 
But I mean, I started blogging then and everything was so exciting and so on 10 years ago. Can you imagine? I started it all 10 years ago. I also got it Wild in the Moon, my power snack. These are my favorite nuts and matcha milk. Mm, yummy. And then add it on. You can imagine what I got. I actually went in and I ordered something that I want, but it sold out online, which is what I told you. And I also ended up getting the puffer that I showed you. Let's do it. Can I do it with my left hand? Wow, I'm getting really good at this. Here it is. And I think, do you think it's, no, it's not two-sided. I don't think it's two-sided, but it's amazing. It has the leather kind of, what are these strings and the leather detailing here. And this is it inside. I love it. I'm sorry that it's getting kind of dark uh, right now. It's just very gloomy in Paris at the moment. But I love this so much. Even like with sneakers, this is so, so, so cool. It's such an incredible piece if you ask me. And I love it. And since I've shown you everything, I just wanted to show you these as well. I feel that the color might not be perfect actually in the on the camera, but maybe just the screen. They're the bubblegum pink and this is what they look like. I love them, love them. And I think this is gonna be super cute even with the white dresses when I just want to, you know, add a little pop of color, white dress, my pink bucket hat, or even like denim, you know, like simple denim, white t-shirt and the pink flats. So, so, so cute. I love them. I actually also am on a hunt for another pair of pink Chanel shoes. Baby, what do you think about my new pink hat? Lol. But um, yeah, I also want to get another pair of pink shoes. I guess that shows how bothered I am that my boyfriend doesn't really like pink because someone has asked me two or three videos before how much I am bothered about always wearing what my boyfriend likes. And the truth is I'm super bothered to always be attractive to my boyfriend. Not always, but like to be attractive, you know, like I think that's very important for us women. We like to be liked by our, by our partners, but when it comes to the fashion sense, first of all, it's my job to have a personal style and to have a certain sense of dressing. And it's very important to stay true to myself because if I'm not, then uh, everything kind of like my whole business loses the point you know also if i right as women if we wanted guys to like us we would just go around naked and i mean that's absolutely not an option for me so that is it okay like i said this video is not going to be very long but i have a next few which are like a mammoth um, I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you thought about Paris being open again. Um, and I will see you very, very soon. Bye, guys!